So I didn't even know they were working on a game like this. This is a historical RPG, kind of. It reminds me of Medieval uh, or Kingdom Come Deliverance. Even the voice actor for the main character, I believe, is the same voice actor of Henry. So there's many things that remind me of Kingdom Come, Kingdom Come Deliverance, but this one's a little less historical. It's like historical fiction, or uh, it's they described it as a a alternate universe or alternate reality so it's gonna be the napoleonic time period but it i don't think it has anything to do with napoleon so you're like a, a you're an intelligence officer in the russian army and uh it's like 1803 so the early 19th century so it's that time period you know napoleon's out there being awesome uh but i don't think you're gonna be like dealing with napoleon who knows i don't know it's kind of like a mystery game there's something weird going on in russia i just like the time period i like history uh, i like living you know and, like because that's rpg you get to experience life in different time periods that's why i love kingdom come deliverance it was awesome uh so we'll see what this one's all about this is alpha this is super early it's gonna have some bugs it's gonna have some issues so keep that in mind uh but yeah i think that's that's everything i wanted to say so let's jump into a new game we'll play on medium difficulty and uh let's get this bad boy started oh by the way guys i'll let you read this but i'll tell you once it's loading but yeah, he's a secret intelligence officer, arrived at the capital. So what I want to say, if you really, really enjoy this, let me know by leaving a like and a comment. I will continue brief. this and if you want to see more. to you as well. All right, gentlemen. The time has come to figure out precisely what's going on in the Borderlands. The reports and rumors coming out of there are getting wilder by the day. Ghosts, men with the heads of wolves, satanic sacrifices, the dead rising from their graves, and no less than five sightings of the devil himself. The last part is especially surprising, since Vlad hasn't been anywhere near those parts in almost a year. I hope you're still as amused when I make you scrub the toilets all night. So it's finally happened. The rabble has gone off the deep end. Surely we're not going to waste our time on peasant superstitions. Initially, we weren't. I found some of them quite amusing, in fact. However, recently we've been hearing far more insidious whispers. Some of the commoners have got it into their heads that all this is the result of the Emperor having lost God's favor, and that unless a change is made at the very top, we will all soon be overrun by demonic forces. I see. These matters have a way of getting out of hand if left unchecked, so we should put an end to this business as quickly as possible. You will ride for the province of Blagoyarsk together, then split up. Vlad and Eugene will go to the city of Blagoyarsk itself. Dimitri, Nick, and Alex, you will investigate the surrounding villages and homesteads. Our orders? Investigate the precise source of these rumors. Find the main agitators spreading them, and persuade them to stop. Or kill them. Either way works for us. Any other questions? Uh, can the rumors be true? Any chance that some of these rumors are true? The dead come back to life and monsters summoned by the devil. Yes. You better bring a magic medallion than the silver sword. Wouldn't want Satan to catch you unprepared. Right. You ride immediately. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, maybe maybe um, the main character isn't uh, the same All voice right, actor gentlemen. as Henry. He is a this character, is though, for sure. Out. Good luck. You too. What are you looking at, Alex? Uh, there's a chest over there. I think I see something. Over there in the bushes. What is it? I think it's a chest. A chest? In the bushes? How did it get there? Maybe it fell off a wagon. Then grew wings and flew up that hill. Let's have a look. <laughs> Well, it's locked. I gave it Maybe a try. <laughs> nearby. Finding a chest in the middle of nowhere is unlikely enough. If we were to find the key to it as well, that would defy credulity entirely. And why the hell do we even need a key? It's a chest, not a vault. Let's just break it open. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What is happening right now? Something inside. <laughs> Looks like a sword. That's it? One sword? <laughs> Who would use a whole chest to store a single sword? And why would they just leave it out here in the wilds? It feels right for some reason. But just think for a moment how utterly preposterous this is. Uh, okay, so I don't know if that was their game's way of being like, we haven't made an animation of him opening up the chest, so it's going to fade to black and you're going to hear some random guy whis whistling. I don't, re I don't know what that is. Again, keep in mind, this is alpha. You're going to see some weird stuff, but I mean, even the animations are a little rough. Um, you know, the facial expression, some of the like the, the guy at the beginning, his mustache wasn't moving when he was talking. Uh, let's pick up the sword. I love the uniforms, though. Ugh. The uniforms are great. What are you doing? I'm taking the sword. What for? You have a sword. Maybe it's better than the one I have. Better how? A sword is a sword. They're all more or less the same. Except the one you have is clean and sharp, and this one is old, rusty, and covered in God knows what. Um, I'm, well, I'm still going to keep it. You're right, I guess. Let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Did I just throw it back into the chest? <laughs> it's like, you're right, whatever. Yeah, you, you convinced me with the God knows what part. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to click. Maybe I can sell it. I don't know. I, I feel like that's a really important sword. Like it's got uh, powers or something that can kill the Satan or whatever. I don't know what's going on. Imperial Guard, we're saved. The Emperor himself sent him here to save us from these horrors. Nay, you fool. Wasn't you listening? That tyrant doesn't care about us one whit. They must be spirits. Demons come to hurt the lady. All right, what have we here? They look so real. We are real, idiot. <laughs> now get your hands away from me before I cut them off. You will not touch the lady. We'll give our lives for her to the man. The lady? What lady? Must be some lady. What's it to you? You are after her. Die, foul spirits. Oh, greetings, friend. From warm and sunny Russia. Thank you for playing the early alpha version of the Emperor's Own. This is the first fully playable uh, chapter of the game. It's still an early work in progress and much will be fixed, changed, and improved, but the story of the first chapter is playable from start to finish. More things we're still working on. The combat is a placeholder that we currently whipped up just to have something for the alpha. We're, remove we're reworking it completely to be much more interesting and intuitive, but that's still on the prototype stage. Okay, so this is like a warning, just letting you know that this is still a work in progress. Most animations in the game are made by hand or by procedural generation and it shows. Uh, in the full release, we plan on a full motion uh, mocap mo -cap? for all dialogues and cutscenes. The world is still fairly empty. We've got a few Easter eggs hidden here and there, but most side content hasn't been implemented yet. The graphics will be improved all around, including the lighting and the character models, okay? Uh, instructions save frequently and don't delete old saves the demo is playable from start to finish but occasionally you may encounter game breaking bugs in most cases re -re reloading a save will fix the problem you can't save during dialogue including okay including the banter and combat if you're unable to save 99% chance that that's the reason okay if you skip through the dialogues really quickly that can save that can cause bugs especially lower end ma uh, machines that try to skip too much Okay, so there's going to be some bugs. Occasionally di dialogue can fail to start after combat and you won't be able to progress, particularly likely happen at the beginning of the homestead location. To minimize your likelihood of happening, try not to stay too far from the starting point of the fight. But if you get the bug, reload prior saves and try again. Compa uh, companions occasionally get stuck in various places when exploring the world. Look behind you to make sure they're they're following. Uh, if they're stuck somewhere, nudge them a bit should help. 
Uh, very occasionally an extra marker may spawn in the mini map. <laughs> These are just the known bugs or the direction of the journal may not be correct. If you get a marker and there's nothing there, just go to the other one. There are five saves including uh, included with the demo, one for each location. If you're unable to finish the location, try loading one of them. Okay. So walk, sprint, that's all straightforward. J for journal, uh, space for block, uh, dodge, press mouse wheel for pistol, Q to click. Okay. I think we're good. Uh-oh. Get back. Get back, you peasant. Where's the lady? Let's see if I can block here. You won't take me, foul spirit. I need help. I suck at fighting. Uh oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I died. No, you're dead. You suck. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> so I reloaded the game, and the people are dead now. So all right, we did it. We killed them. Uh, really quick, I wanted to, my fighting was, I, I guess I completely forgot. See, heavy attack, shift, less, left mouse, uh, block is right mouse button. I thought I was blocking, um, and then press wheel for the pistol. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna, can I get back on my horse? In, uh, investigate the village of Haleswood. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go for a walk, boys. I don't, I don't know if we can get back on the horses. But, um, so far what I can judge about the game, it looks great. The uniforms are fantastic. I love, um, I love this is, I mean, if this is made by a Russian company, I do love the, I don't know, just, I like when countries do games on their own or yeah, when, when, well, okay, let me rephrase that. When companies from a certain country does a game based on their home. It is very cool. Uh, that's why I love Kingdom Come Deliverance because, uh, the, you know, I, at least I know the lead developer of that game uh, is from the area of Kingdom Come. So it's uh, it's really cool to because they're going to put their heart and soul into it, you know. Um, so uh, are we going the right way? <laughs> investigate the village. So if we press J, objectives, investigate the village. Okay. But where is the village? I think... Let me try getting on the horses again. I, I really don't want to leave the horses behind. All right, so I oh there we go. Okay, I was just looking at the wrong horse. I thought you were in charge. That's your first mission with us. Therefore, we have to assess your abilities, and that includes your judgment. So, lead the way. And don't worry. If you try to do something too stupid, we'll let you know. Thanks. At your service. All right, cool. So I'm so glad I went back for the horses because. Uh, you know, it would have been quite the journey to walk over here and then you'd, you know, if we had to go somewhere else, we needed the horses. We know exactly how to deal with people who have seen too much. In fact, that's one of our specialities. Wonderful. You shouldn't complain. You're lucky that you have us evaluating you. The guys I had, Andre and Yuri, I don't know which one was the bigger hard ass. When I suggested we rest after three straight days on the road, Yuri called me a pussy and said a bitch like me would never make it. <laughs> sure sounds like him. And when I finally dozed off in the saddle on the fourth day, Andre smacked me in the head so hard I fell off my horse. They sound charming. Can't wait to meet them. I wouldn't be in a hurry if I were you. Where are they now? Killed in action. Both. Uh, that's cool. I like Whoa. the little dialogue. Um, but what was I saying? I was gonna say something. I don't know, but it looks really good. This looks good Hey, what's going on here? Who goes there? 
pox upon your half wit. Can't you see these Imperial Guard? Forgive the fool, my lords. Welcome to Aylswood. Who is in charge here? Our alderman lives in the third house on the left. Thank you. All right, sweet. Uh, but, oh, what I was going to say is I would love to be a voice actor for a historical game. Imperial that would be officers. a dream come true. Uh, if someone was making, like, an American historical game or something like that, I would be all over that. That would be awesome. Uh, but here we are. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. Woman. Bread, salt, and vittles. My lords, I am Osip, the village alderman. To what do we owe the honor? We've heard some interesting tales about these parts. To put it mildly. Good lord be praised. I knew his majesty would not leave us to these evil spirits. Oh, thank you, my lords. Thank ye. I thought we were goners for sure. Well, get to the point. All right, well, let's not be mean and say we're here to help. Calm down. We're here to help. Oh, his hair's blonde now. Tell us what's going on here. Oh, please, have a seat. It's as if hell itself opened up, my lord. There's wicked beasts prowling the countryside, digging up graves and raising the dead to walk again. Men possessed by infernal spirits are a common sight round our peaceful village. And that evil witch. Oh, God, have mercy on us sinners. The end times are upon us. I swear it. Please, my lords, I hope you won't scorn what little we've got. Not at all. Thank you for your hospitality. You honor us, my lords. Okay, so the, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like a mix of uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance and uh, The Witcher. I don't know, It's that's what it kind of reminds me of. I feel like I'm hunting beasts and witches and stuff. Tell me about The Witch. Tell us about this witch of yours. Oh, that whore's behind all our misfortunes. I just knows it. Tis so. She was once just an old woman, our healer. She lived in that house on the hill or yonder since I was a little boy. She kept to herself mostly, but she never harmed nobody. We'd go to her when we were sick and she gives us herbs and brews. But one day this spring, she disappeared without a trace. Gone for two moons she was. Making a pact with the devil, no doubt. Is this story going somewhere? I am a lord. A fortnight ago, she comes back, but she was changed. How so? Her hair. It was once thin and grey, but it became lush and dark as the night itself. Her face. Her eyes are the same. Blue was the clear sky, but her face is now that of a young lass. And her breasts, <laughs> once old and saggy, now they are supple and large like the- Why was you looking at her breasts, you old pervert? Oh, you daft wench. Because she bewitched me. <laughs> I'm a God-fearing man, use that one. but she's turned me mind to evil thoughts she has. Oh, ye and every other man in the village, not to mention her wicked servants. The devil's whore she is, my lord, I swears it. Has the witch harmed anyone? Has the witch actually harmed anyone in the village? Aye, my lord. She tried. She tried, but we wouldn't let her. The day after she reappeared, she came down from her hill to the village square to work her foul magic. Oh, men folk. Ah, oh, they grew weak at the sight of her. She was charming them with her evil powers, she was, trying to take their minds for her own. But us women folk, women. we stood our ground. We told her that the devil's whore is not welcome, dear, amongst God-fearing folk. She tried to protest, but we wouldn't listen to her lies. We drove her away with the Holy Cross, we did, and sticks and stones for good measure. Our men folk complained at first, said she was a nice girl even, but we opened their eyes to her devilry, we did, and slowly their minds came back to home and family, where they belong. Get to the part where she hurt someone. Aye, my lord. Some travellers came passing through the village later that day. We warned them about the evil whore on the hill. But instead of avoiding her like God-fearing folks should, for some reason they went to visit her. That's when she took their minds, she did. 
and turned them to a wicked purpose. Ah, so that's the the guys we were fighting. They were like, they were defending the witch. All right, let's talk about the ba the beast. Those beasts you mentioned. The beast. Tell us more. I'm a lord. It began about a moon ago. One night we heard strange like sounds coming from the woods. Woods at night are always full of strange noises. Nay, my lord. These were screams. Inhuman, piercing screams. Myself and some of the boys from the village, we crept up there to take a look we did, and we saw wicked beasts. They walked as men, but they had the heads of wolves with great red eyes, burning with the fires of hell, led by a great big one they were, tall as three men it was, and it had horns, giant, wicked horns. Come to think of it, my lords, t'was no mere beast, but the devil himself. Of that I'm certain, he looked at me with his evil eye, and that's... That's enough. Go back to the beginning. Huh? Oh, sorry about that. that. This time, keeping in mind that lying to an imperial officer is a capital offence. Ca capital, my lord? As in where his majesty lives? As in if you lie to us again, we'll hang you. Oh, beg mercy, my lord, I did. Did you see this devil or not? <laughs> Nay, my lord. But the rest, the rest be true. You saw men with heads of wolves. Lord Almighty, strike me down if I'm lying. We saw them, and then we ran. We ran for our lives. Was there anything else? Aye. The village cemetery near the woods. A week ago, something dug up some of the graves at night. Did they take anything? The bones that was resting there. We found the graves empty. Grave robbers? Could it have been grave robbers? Robbers? We's poor folk we are. We don't bury our dead with naught of value. And what would a robber want with bones? Nay, my lord. Tis demons from hell it is. Raising the dead for their evil purpose. I just knows it. Alright, well tell me about the bandits. We were attacked by some strange brigands just outside your village. Do you know who they were? I'm a lord. Ordinary men they were until recently, but now... Their minds are gone, taken by demonic powers. Right. Are they from around here? But nay, my lord. They are passers-by, bedeviled by that infernal witch. Took their minds, she has. Now they loiter around our village, steal our crops and livestock and harass our girls. Our boys had to take up arms to keep them at bay. Strangely mundane activity for demonic powers to engage in. They yelled about protecting some lady. Is that the witch you spoke of? I, my lord, but no lady she is. A sorceress most wicked. Nice tits, but no lady. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty fun. Um, I wonder, I wonder what direction this game is gonna go. Is it gonna go with, um, you know, these are just maybe these are just people wearing uh, like dead wolf heads as like helmets or something. Or this is legit a monster. Uh, let's see the rumors. One more question. We've heard there are people in these parts who think the Emperor is to blame for all these events. Good Lord have mercy. No man here would ever say such a thing. We love the Emperor as we do our father. Uh -huh. One and all. Aye, my Lord. You'll not hear such talk in this village. Alright, thank you for the information. All right. Thank you for the information. We'll see if we can work out what's going on here. Clean and feed our horses in the meantime. Bye, my lords. God be with you. All right. That was fun. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> They're crazy. All right. So talk to the witch in the hill behind the village. Yes. We get to talk to the girl with a nice rack. All right. Can we get on the horse or do we need to get on the horse? Well, I'm pretty sure this one's my horse. I'm not getting on it, so. Let me try the other ones. I think we can just. So the witch is on the hill behind the village. Let's check the map. So behind the village on the hill. Let's see. Objectives. Okay. Well oh. Then. 
The last time I heard such tales was from my grandmother when I was a little boy. There has to be something behind them. Clearly he's exaggerating, but I doubt he made up everything. We've already seen the bandits. And the empty grave should be easy enough to verify. I'm more interested in that witch. Yeah, me too. If she's even remotely close to the description. I'd like to take a look at her. <laughs> yeah. Figures. Lead the way, Alex. <laughs> All right. Oh, there they go. Okay. This way. All right. We want to go to the witch first. So that's a graveyard. This is the witch. So we need to go this way. And let's go see what this witch is all about. And this Gentlemen, is cool. Right? I require your assistance. What? Uh, is that coming from you? I have no idea where that came from. Uh, maybe it's the guy over there. Is it like a little side quest? I don't know. Anyways, let's just keep going. Let's focus on the main quest here. But yeah, I like the um, I like the landscaping. I like the um, the farms and everything. It looks really awesome. Um, you know, I I think this is a pretty interesting story. A uh, little investigation. You can see the people working over here. I wonder, do they need help? I'm curious. I guess I can't jump over this. All right, let's just keep going. Maybe we could have gotten on the horses after that dialogue. We'll see. We'll go back to the horses. Hey, do you need help, sir? So what if she be a witch? Who's... Oh, okay. Oh, we should save it. Let me just save it every once in a while. Okay, so we saved it. We're almost at the Fuck witch's your place. Mother, what a fool you are! Why am I a fool? Why? Who? F <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. All right, so we're almost at the witch's place. Let's see what she has to say. We've got Russians with British accents. Yeah, we're Russian. Of course we are. <laughs> All right. To the elderman, the witch's house should be up this hill. I wonder if there's going to be a trail of breadcrumbs. We'll find out soon enough. The alderman painted quite the picture of this witch: lush black hair and large supple breasts. Hell yeah! And my kind of foul magic. Hell yeah! About what? That she might turn you into a frog. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'll be all right. Besides, all you'd need to do is take me to a princess and have her give me a kiss. That only works if it's true love. What's not to love? Right. Still, I think I'd rather keep you in my pond as a pet. Glad to know I can count on you. Don't worry. I'll feed you nothing but the finest flies and mosquitoes in the empire. Friend indeed. It's pretty cool. I like this little this little gang here. This little squad of, of friends here. Here it is. Here she be. Okay, you got all the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> you got all the incels <laughs> hanging out trying to get lucky, I guess. Bro, <laughs> I gave her five dollars for her to do some squats. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Too slow. Oh boy. Okay, I am a lot of heat here. Oh. Kill him. I need to. I don't fast enough. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know what happened, but we're back at this save. I, I thought I saved it, way, but Alex. I guess not. Why me? Uh, so you what I'm going to do is just edit it, edit it to where we're back over near the witch. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully uh, we can win that fight again. All right, guys, so we made it back. Uh, I think so. I think what I did wrong when I go to saves, 
<laughs> the way they have it, they have the older saves up top and then the other say the newer saves on the bottom. And I was going, whatever. We're back where we left off. That's all that matters. Let's go kill these guys. Hello. The We're ladies, here. They come for the lady. Kill oh, him. no. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah. Half damage. Okay, blocking is not really. You got to time it. Kill him. Time for time. No. Not, oh, get, wait. Why'd you shoot at me? Okay, you guys got it. Oh, oh you're almost dead. There we go. I got him. I got him. Kill stealer. You stand no chance against the Imperial Guard. Such dashing officers. Oh. To what do I owe the pleasure, gentlemen? Well, the pleasure is all ours. My lady. Oh, my. <clears throat> Take it away, Alex. Right. My lord. Yeah, you've seen Go. All right. Uh, do you know anything about the local monsters? You're not considered. Wait, you're not concerned that we killed your guards? Yeah. You know, uh, why do villagers say you're a witch? What happened between you and the locals? Why do they think you're an evil witch? I arrived here at night, and the following morning went down to the village square to meet the residents. I'm no stranger to attention, but out here my presence caused an outright commotion. All the men were tripping over themselves to greet me, but before I'd even had an opportunity to properly introduce myself, those harpies set upon me. They called me every filthy name I'd ever heard, and quite a few that I hadn't. Then they started throwing rocks and threatening to kill me. To burn me at the stake, to be precise. I had no choice but to run back here. I know not the reason that the women hated me so. Well, I can think of a couple. Quite shapely ones at that. My lord. <laughs> Jesus. She is just a thought, I guess. All right. Did the har did the villagers harm you? Did the villagers harm you? Aside from a few bruises, no. Then these brigands showed up shortly after and let no one near me. Now that you have so gallantly dispatched them, I can only hope that cooler heads will prevail among the locals. We should probably make certain that they do. Uh, advise you to cover up. Jokes aside, I'd cover up a bit if I were you. The locals' reaction is not at all surprising. Their reaction is their problem, my lord. Every woman enjoys attention, and it's not my fault I attract more than most. Damn. Besides, she's straight up like OnlyFans girl. <laughs> Will you want to support my OnlyFans? Uh, okay, so let's. See, the villagers say you changed your appearance. The villagers say that you changed your appearance using sorcery. <laughs> sorcery? Is that what the locals call the occasional bath and a touch of makeup? No, they said you were once a grey old woman. Old woman? I'm 24. Oh, good lord. How dense are these people? The grey old woman, she was my grandmother. She had lived out here all her life while I grew up in town with my father. She came to visit me a few months back, but unfortunately fell ill and passed away. How did you end up here? How did you end up out here? My father passed away this winter. Unbeknownst to me, he had significant debts and had mortgaged our house twice over. Oof. I have no other family, and when the creditors came calling, I had nowhere to go. So I decided to come here, to Grandma's house. I summered here frequently as a little girl, so I know the area well. All right, cool. So there, this is clearly she's not a witch. Who was your father? I thought you were too well-spoken to be from around here. Who was your father? He was a merchant, and I his only daughter. Of course, he strove to give me the best education he could. And in addition, I had learned a good deal about herbalism from my grandmother. Considered perhaps taking up her trade. Oof, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you already... People think you're a witch. Um... Are you not concerned that we killed your guards? You don't seem all that broken up over the fact that we just killed your protectors. Protectors? That's certainly one way to put it. And I suppose they had their uses. But as a woman living alone, 
I had mixed feelings about armed men loitering outside my home, particularly considering that I was given no say in the matter. The villagers are under the impression that you bewitched these men. Is that so? My, they have wild imaginations out yeah, here. Yeah, her tits did. <laughs> Am I right? Are you familiar with these brigands? Who were they? Familiar is perhaps too strong a term, my lord. They showed up outside my door two weeks ago, quite drunk, and declared their intention to have their way with me. For men with no apparent education, they were unexpectedly eloquent and verbose in describing their designs. <laughs> Did they hurt you? They were quite certain in their belief that I would relish the once-in-a-lifetime experience they were about to bestow upon me. As you may imagine, I was not as thrilled at the prospect. So I inquired whether the locals had informed them of my wicked powers. They replied that they did not fear the devil's whore, as they so poetically put it. I noted their courage, but then asked whether they feared the devil himself. For would he not seek to punish those that dare violate his property? What happened then? Evidently, in their rush to grace me with their company, they had failed to consider that point. Some of them expressed doubts, which grew into concerns, and eventually escalated into quite the debate. Once verbal arguments had exhausted themselves, they proceeded to a more physical way of settling their differences. I waited with bated breath for them to come to a consensus. Fortunately, the side that was against defiling me in ways that decency does not permit to mention, finally prevailed. They resolved to make camp near the woods, and ponder the matter overnight. I gave them a brew to calm their nerves, and had sincerely hoped that I would never see them again. But they came back. At the crack of dawn the following morning, I had feared the worst, but instead they dropped to their knees and begged me to call off the devil's servants. Naturally, I was quite surprised, but proceeded to tell them that they had nothing to fear, provided they would not let a hair on my head come to harm. In retrospect, perhaps I should have worded that differently. For after they had finished profusely thanking me for my mercy, they resolved to never leave my side, nor to let anyone else come near me. They had camped outside my home ever since, and had been quite diligent in collecting any stray hairs that fell to the ground. What caused them to change? What caused them to have such a sudden change of heart? They had been under the impression that the devil sent monsters after them for transgressing against me. Something about ghosts and wolfmen or some such. What it really was they saw that night, I know not. Okay, so we still don't have an idea what the monsters are. Do we know anything about the local monsters? Do you know anything of these monsters that everyone here is on about? Only stories I overheard from my erstwhile guardians. Something about men with heads of wolves. Somebody digging up the graves at the cemetery. And that poor young man that was torn to pieces four days ago. The Elderman didn't mention anything about that. Hmm. Interesting. I dare not pry, gentlemen, but surely three Imperial Guardsmen are not out here merely for some local superstitions. Perhaps I may be of assistance? Maybe. Somebody has been spreading rumors blaming the Emperor for all the supposed horrors that have befallen these parts. Have you heard anything? I've not been here long. My so-called protectors mentioned something about a wise man. He's been opening the eyes of the oppressed, or something to that effect. In fact, that's how they ended up here to begin with. They were on their way to see him. I believe they mentioned he was in the homesteads near the old monastery. I know the place. A few hours ride from here. Thank you for your help. At your service, my lords. Okay. Alright, here's my number. You can call me later. How may I be of help? Alright. Thank you. Always pleased to be of service. Alright, yes. Alright, so, uh... I think we're gonna end the episode here. Um, again, obviously it's quite clear the game is super early in development. Um, but if you want to see more of this storyline, let me know. And I will cover more of it. Uh, if you really like this. I mean, I might do it anyways. Just, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Kind of cool story i like the time period and everything but yeah uh so we're gonna wrap it up here guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this as much as i have it's been a lot of fun and i'll see you guys next time well, on the battlefield easy, but i don't know if i'd go so far as the devil's whore i wouldn't mind getting to know her a bit
Shame we're in a rush. Seemed like a nice enough girl to me. And it's not exactly surprising that the local women aren't thrilled by her presence. What is surprising is the dedication of the men protecting her. Something's off here. I've seen frightened men, but not like this. Maybe it's not about fear. What then? Did you see her? She's all right. All right. If Alex and I weren't here, you'd be getting to know her a bit right now. Oh, sure, I'd fuck her. I wouldn't die for her. These men did the opposite. That's what I don't understand. You've never seen a man give his life for a beautiful woman. I have. And I've never been able to understand it. Why do I even bother? We need to find that wise man in the homesteads. But first, I'm curious about the man that was supposedly torn into pieces. Let's ask the locals.